we're good. Hi guys, Andre. We're back again with the simulator build in my house. Um, we'll get amongst it, fit all the stuff, lots of nuts and bolts. I've had to do a bit of drilling to the brackets, all sorts of stuff to make it fit, but really excited to get it together. So we've finally got it all together. It's rather exciting and I can't wait to have a go. But just to recap, we've upgraded the seat to a race tech seat, nice and sturdy and exactly the same as what we have in the car. We've got our drift drive wheel, so nice and tight and responsive so you can feel what's happening in the game. And then we've got the roll bars and shifters here, which is again exactly what's in the car. So stay tuned for the next video where you'll see me turning some laps in this bad boy at Phillip Island. Hey guys, Rick back again. Time to get stuck into the sim build. We've got everything we need here, so I just gotta have a little bit of creativity and see what we can come up with. Just gotta make this comfy and super fast. Let's get into it. Got me code got me co driver here. It's gonna give us a hand. <laughs> Dirty. All right, let's bring her over. Needs a bit of angle. <laughs> Measure that. Do some cutting then. Actually, it was gonna. I've cut it. Yeah, like that. Perfect. This is just like doing blocks at school, isn't it? Move it. You need to like. All right. Well, first we'll just make those pedals stay there. One thing we need to do is make sure that when we push the brake really hard, and you put a fair bit of force through the brake, that the pedal box doesn't move. So um, going a bit over the top here to try and screw it in from underneath so we can uh, jump on the brakes. Yeah, I'll well, get in between. Thank you, I'll definitely do that. Just screwing the steering wheel on so it's nice and adjustable. She's got all the bells and whistles. Did you say whistles? I feel like you, you, Hmm. <laughs> She's a bit wobbly. Fix it.
Fixed. Got to get this thing level, it's a pretty important part of the gaming to have the screen at the right spot and nice and level, so they say. Oh, that's level, that's level, mate. This will crack. Well, there you go. I had a lot of fun building my first ever race simulator. I um, hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration for you guys that are keen to jump in and have a bit of racing yourself. Get out there and make your race simulator. See if you can make a nicer one than that. Tune in next time because I'm going to jump in this thing and see how I go for my first ever time in a race simulator. Come board the Ned Whiskey number seven Mustang. No, no. I've not even got around one corner. <laughs> yeah, it's only like 13 seconds off the pace.